on Iva. Let's not waste any more time. We're getting right into grand finals here. Dill sitting on winner's side. Car flow from losers. Let's see if we get a reset here. Let's go. Carflow has been playing with so much momentum tonight. It really feels like he is, in fact, that unstoppable force. But Rod's such a difficult character to get in on. Dill can really play at just any number of ranges thanks to these projectiles, thanks to all these scrapping tools. So it's it's going to be on Carflow to find his way in. Oh my goodness! He doesn't need to find his way in if Dill just presents the roll in for the down air. Again, allowing Carflow to go to Battlefield. I don't know about this. We didn't see any bands there. So it looks like they're just gentlemen to it. I mean, this is definitely still a fantastic Rob stage. Just getting so many conversions yeah, but from the up airs. That being said, though, Carflow still holding on to this momentum. Dill kind of being taken aback in the player cam. Yeah, they're like, I didn't expect this. Someone ate their Wheaties this morning. Ooh, waiting on the tech. Carflow continuing on the pressure. All right, up air not going to be taking it just yet. Carflow gets to hold on to this second stock, but already 50% extra credit. You've got to be happy with that. Oh, yes. I, I do think it's hilarious that top players will react to losing a stock, but will not <laughs> react to taking a stock. I always, I always uh, equate it to, like, in Ace Attorney games, when someone gets like presented with the evidence, dun, and they, dun, 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 they like get hit in real life by it. Oh yes! Like the wind blows them back. What a javelin! Yes! You see what I mean? Let's go! They're like, take a stock, expect it. Lose the stock? How could you? What was Ooh. this running around from Carflow? This rush down from Carflow right now is insane. Carvel's like, get out the way. That top place is mine. Carflow trying to speed run the grand finals reset right now. I don't think they're going to get a world record, but I think a PB, you know, I'd be very happy with that myself. Might be, but Dill looking to put a stop to all of this, trying to slow things down, using that up B to waste all of the invincibility frames from the Angel platform. Oh my god, the hit stop on that gyro was so funny. Not often you see that, but yes, the invulnerability from Blazer hitting gyro, it's a sight to behold. It really is, and that's why the game wanted you to stop and look at it and appreciate it for like a full second. Look at us, all this animation work that you'll never appreciate. Whoa. All right, dead even percents right now. Dill was behind by 0.1%, but now finding herself in the lead might finally be that immovable object, but Carflow coming in with those aggressive side Bs. All right, just trying to, they're wasting all the gas just to get safely back on stage. Yep, Dill trying to just slow this tempo down, make sure that Carflow is not able to continue this nonstop train that he's been running. All right, Dancing Blade, oh, barely takes it. First game goes to Carflow. One more game and we get a bracket reset. Absolutely. I mean, despite the momentum coming back into Dill's favor there at the end of game one, Carflow just could not be stopped. As we see here, what surprised Dill was that back air. That's just beautiful movement oh, there. I want to see the jab. Right? jab reset again. It was the this jab. Was so cool. Rolling back into the up smash. Dill just has just... to laugh. I mean, I, I would too. Like, that's just a setup you have to respect. Like, yeah, I got got. Yeah. I think everyone in the world got got by that. I mean, definitely every single time Dill lost the stock, they react. Even the last one just kind of snubbed their nose and they're like, all right, I took my licking. <laughs> now for the real fun. The real grand final starts now. Look, it's not their final form, okay? They got to power up a bit. Ooh, Carflow right now looking to be playing at full power, almost getting the air dodge read from Dill, but still in a very healthy percent lead and just keeping the tempo in his favor with these parries. Who down here is there? You, are you Pyra? Uh-oh. Carflow really makes me a believer in just like, yeah, Roy down can be good. Roy down is very good. <laughs> Believe. Ooh, the Believe in that dancing blade. With the double edged dance coming in, just barely scraping the top of Rob's chassis. And 
and now Dill down a stock once again. Dill has perfected the art of the eye roll, just like Fawn has. <laughs> oh, rotor arms just a little too soon. It has worked with other players here in bracket, but it's not going to work against Carflow. Air Train coming in for Carflow. So much extra credit already on the board. This is just what we saw in game one, but Carflow putting the numbers even more in his favor with a read on the neutral air. One more stock. One more stock. That's really all he needs to get us right into true finals. This Carflow is sitting pretty with a fresh second stock against Dill's final stock. Even though Dill took that stock, they reacted to it. They're like, oh my gosh, I got to do this yeah, two more like, times. Just like, oh, finally. All right, no back air to Ooh. seal the deal. Very ambiguous air drift there from Carflow after the air dodge. Get off of me. I got super armor. Who are you neutral airing? But Carflow has been able to use so impressively are these platforms here. Using the burner to just roll back to safety, whether it's one of those left or right platforms or even the top one. And yeah. also just knowing when to go in on this gyro. Often people will respect it way too much. Ooh, that was oh, almost an F smash. That could that should have been. We'll see if Carflow looks to regret it here. All right, not quite. Right. Leaving Eddie. the gyro alone. Bear allowing Dill to take a high recovery, and now she is the one who gets to play a little bit now with the platforms. But Carflow no just poke. planting his feet once again on this main stage platform. Oh, very dangerous, but it's a good thing Dill did not just go in, as players are often wanting to do when they're a little flustered. These parries from Carflow right now are insane. And yep. What a call out. We have a reset. True Grand Finals here at Xeno Weekly. A 2 from Carflow. Yep, that's, that's oh, the one. Okay. Whew. Always one or two numbers off. All right, and we are just going straight back into Battlefield. I'm a little bit surprised because it just feels like Carflow has been getting like infinitely more value off of the Battlefield platforms than Dill that, has. That's what I mean. Stop it. <laughs> Take them anywhere else. Well, not, maybe not TNC. Not TNC. We've, we've learned that. Well, oh, actually, gosh, I don't yes. know. TNC is a pretty volatile Rob stage, too. Yeah, but I, at least small Battlefield. Oh, my gosh. Get rid of that center platform. Don't be afraid to ban. It's okay. In fact, it's encouraged. But I encourage you to not change that stream because we got the reset. True Grand Finals, game one. Got true finals coming in right back into Battlefield. Carflow playing with all of the momentum. And I just want to say once again, ever since top eight started, the only game Carflow has lost was one to John Numbers. Carflow is looking to make that a constant as we move on into game one. Already 105 on Dill, nearly unanswered. Another thing I'm starting to notice, Carflow, when they're comfortable, leans back. And now <laughs> Dill is in the gamer pose. It's the, the ebb and flow of gamer leans. All right, but Dill now finally with a stock lead for the first time this set. And Carflow leaning in just a little <laughs> bit more. Even leans here. The equivalent exchange of gamer lean. <laughs> All right, Carflow trying to find that momentum back into his favor, but only getting the weak hits of the double edge dance means Dill is going to be living a little bit longer. And once again, trying to just slow down the tempo of the match, going high up in the air. Carflow has managed to uh -oh. avoid gyros, lasers, robo arms, but can they avoid dying any longer? Finally, the super armor coming through, but still. Not enough to kill, no rage, or just a little bit of rage on the board for Carflow. And Dill is running away with this extra credit. Does finally lose the first stock, but 82% in an it arm rotor. It was an untackable situation, unfortunately. Saw the red flash, bright as day. Bright as that laser. A good back throw. Ooh, very good positioning on the grab with the gyro for Dill. Exactly what they did to John Numbers earlier in this bracket. And also some great combo DI from Dill to get hit by the back hit of neutral air. Oh! All right, Carflow, maximum lean. Yeah, that is oh, definitely a bit of a momentum killer, but Carflow definitely not out in this game one. 
Got to be careful, though. Gyro and Rob at ledge. Carflow just fighting his way out with the neutral airs. And the delayed double edge dance. That was hot. It's, that was a great dancing blade. It, it's suddenly pretty even again. Uh oh, especially if Carflow's getting neutral air pickups like that. Still just dancing around. Finally sharking the platforms here. Is unable to catch with the laser. Great empty landing grab. And Carflow utilizing these platforms so well. This is what we were saying before. Carflow is just making such great use of these platforms. He's showing all of us that he did not need that second stock. Uh oh. Alright, not getting caught by anything after that drag down. Dill kind of shaking her head, knowing that was a lost opportunity. Alright, avoiding damage oh. from the gyro. Wow. All right, does Dill still needs have to go the in. jump. Doesn't get hit by the gyro. He's back into center stage, but the scoop from up smash finally putting Dill on the board. Dill just looking up at this guy being like, why? Why? Why have I had to work this hard? Why did you put Roy in the game like this? Why Roy in the game? Why Carflow and Brackets? <laughs> this man's been on a tear. Tore through numbers. Tore through fun. And now is aiming for Dill's head. <laughs> That's me during my lunch break, just staring into nothing, Ugh. wondering when it'll be over. But it's not over yet. Game two. Dill needs one more to take Xeno Weekly through 09. Yep, and of course, Carflow absolutely going to be running things back to Battlefield. He's been making wonders happen on this stage in Grand Finals. Ooh, stubbing his toe on the gyro, but is able to pick it up and get a little bit of a combo out of it. Would this happen on any other stage? We don't know, because we're not going to any <laughs> other stage. All right, neutral air coming through, just eating right through the gyro. But now Carflow finding himself in a percent lead. Definitely not what we saw in the last game. The, another delayed double-edge dance. It's insane how long uh, the, the final hit can be delayed. Wow. Yeah, no, Carflow has been so doing so well with that. It's catching everybody off guard. It's a very committal move, but when you have that movement like Carflow cool. and just able to delay it, but not only delay it, but dance around these platforms like that, it'll surprise you. It can kill. It will kill. Rob's standing grab not, not quite far enough, and Carflow able to find yet another blazer to continue this extra credit. Already wrap up. Uh, Lapping Dill in percent. <gasps> you were able to shield after the Aegis Reflector setup? Yeah, even Dill was very uh, surprised by that. Just the awareness from Carflow right now, once again, seeing the game in slow motion, but finally Dill bringing us back into real time as she uh, puts herself on the board. Yeah, no more Carflow time. It's Dill time. Okay. Not quite getting put in a tech scenario, but instead Carflow finding himself with a missed tech and already 77%. Dill might be looking to find herself in a stock lead very soon. But what Dill has started doing a lot is waiting for Carflow to start jumping in to throw in that gyro, knowing that they're looking for that delayed dancing blade. All right. Let's see right now, Carflow stuck at the ledge. Very scary situation. All right. Good master the grab from release. Carflow playing very patiently, but wasting a little bit too much of that shield. It's shield poked by the forward air, but the, another blazer snipe. Dill gives a thumbs up. Yeah. I mean, what else can he do but be very Ooh. happy? But it, but can they be very happy with that not killing? I don't know. Fan, an, a fantastic mash from Carflow, not getting caught there. Or, or rather, fantastic DI not getting killed by that uh, up air. Yeah, that down tilt kept sparking. <laughs> so I was like, yeah. it's not going to work. Just get up. All right. No one's going to be getting it out from this, though, if Carflow has their edge guarding down pat. All right. No ledge trap here. Carflow. But an aerial situation. Carflow just needs to. Okay. All right. Finally, the tombstone. But Dill at 101. Carflow is very close to bringing us to a game three of true finals. Ooh, so close. All right. Dill has to camp the at air. Try and find a good place to land. And even with Gyro in hand to cover herself, Dill just still so not safe. able to find her way down. All right, this could be the momentum that Dill needs. 
144. The rage is maxed out. But anything can kill unless they Ooh. don't sweet spot it. No, they're still alive. Just barely living. Oh, and Carflow getting put in the corner. The laser. That was very scary. Carflow with no jump. All right, still plenty of gas oh, in the tank. But unfortunately, Dill whiffing the gyro animation. That is a clean, like, 60 frame whiff animation. I believe Easy the, stuff for Carflow. Wasn't that gyro still on stage? It was. Oh, Dill no. did not quite realize it. Tried to use the gyro to cover her recovery. All right, yeah. The, yep, it's right over there the on the left gun. platform. Very rare that the camera does not have that in frame. And yep. Yeah. That's exactly why. It's because the camera, what it'll do is when you have an immovable object like the gyro or, say, Warrior's motorcycle, we'll try and stay on it to show players like, hey, this is still there. Like, you need to be aware of it when yeah. moving. They don't do that with the C4, I think. No. I think. No, no, no. That's they do it with Duck Hunt's cam, though. Yes. That's why you'll see it's the camera pull back yes. and normally you would uh, zoom on It's extremely obnoxious. <laughs> It's important. I want to know where that can is. Could you imagine not being able to see where that can is? It'd be like Marvel vs. Capcom 3. You'd have like the little arrows being like, can, can, off screen. Can is, can is basically hidden missiles. Ah, uh, rip to nice. all those snake users in uh, Smash 4 that were trying to use duck hunts. And it wasn't quite the same. No, not quite. And this is not quite the same game we're seeing here in game 3. That's true. We do have Dill now with the percent lead, with the momentum. And this is basically how we saw game one of True Finals, is if Dill gets this first stock, she's able to put the momentum in her favor. You shut down so much of Carflow's game plan. What we're seeing here is if Dill was a pickle, they'd be a spicy pickle this time. Oh, but a jab F smash almost taking the stock with near full rage. Dill almost getting completely upset by that, but holding on to this first stock. <gasps> wow! But just the snipe so far out. And now Carflow with the opportunity for extra credit. This is where we saw all of the games that Carflow won is whoever finds the first stock, it just feels like they're able to take the whole game. Missing the grab? Dill just getting a little too flustered there. All right, that... <gasps> the no. gyro! No! The betrayal! That was... <laughs> oh my gosh, he lost the camera! <laughs> Dill's fury blacked out the camera. It just overheated. You can see the steam coming from their ears. That the cat ears. Finally, Dill gets the tombstone she was so wrongfully denied previously. All right, we're seeing back in the mix here. All right. <laughs> Dill had so long to charge that down smash. Blazer on the gyro is just so funny. It's really good because it does set you up for like a good punish situation. Even platforms can't save you there. Mm -hmm. Oh, Air what? dodging right into that forward smash. Carflo needs one more stock to take this tournament. One more stock to take Xeno 309 for himself. But it's not going to be easy. Rotor arms a little too risky. All right, Carflo not quite confident in his ability to just pick up the, gy the gyro there. Gotta start hitting the lab. Watch that John Numbers video. Oh, the gyro actually putting Dill in the hit stop, giving Carflow the opportunity to punish that neutral air. All right, gyro able to, ooh, getting caught by the laser. Gyro in hand. Oh, just no. barely avoiding the back air. Zombear can't save you now, Dill. Yeah, Dill just kind of mashing out of disadvantage, trying to find something with these neutral airs, but already almost 100% on Dill's final stock. Carflow still with two stocks to play with. Carflow just needs one more interaction win. 158, this is full rage. You gotta be careful with the side bees, but finally the scoop of the up smash. Now bringing us to last stocks of the tournament. Dill doesn't often go for zero to death combos, but if there's any ever a time to bring them out, it's now. Mm, oh, there was only a jab forward air. Carflow not finding the back air. But an up air at this percent may be taking it off the platforms. All right, Dill looking for any sort of grab, any sort of neutral air to get something started. 
Carflow just holding down this space, making sure that Dill is not able to find her way back into center stage, but another soft into hard up air confirm is going to be getting Carflow. Xeno 309. Amazing play there from Carflow. Dill, in rare moments, I mean, obviously, both played very, very well. Carflow up against a top player like Dill. Carflow is a top player too, let's, let's not. But like definitely against one of the best ROMs that we have in the region. This was incredible to watch. Just uh, being unafraid to go off, follow like once like they were trying to kind of stall in the air, mm -hmm. and even using the gyro for their advantage. And I do think that the dancing blade, like those delay dancing blades and jumping around like the platforms, that really were, was a game changer in this set. Absolutely. Carflow taking things, oh, like taking the sets over everyone seated above him, uh, you know, Fawn, John, and Dill, and of course, you know, me. So. Yeah, going up against what most would consider the kind of like the trifecta of regular like top three years here in mm -hmm. Manhattan. Like if you ever wanted to like get over the hump, getting over those three, I mean, you're on to big things. Absolutely. Is so. this uh, Carflow's third Xeno Weekly win? Because they've had two before, I know that. This might you be the third like, or fourth. Like total? Total, I believe. No, it's a little, it's more than that. More than that? Yeah. Dang, we may get to see start uh, double digits here soon. Let's Definitely go. not up to 10 yet. But every single notch on their belt is one more up there. But anyway, congratulations to our top eight. Everyone played amazingly today. Congratulations to Carflow. John Numbers, John Numbers in third place, Dylan second. I believe Fawn in fourth? I forget Probably. the top eight already. But anyway, congratulations, everybody <laughs> showed up. Play their hearts out. And to all of our players who've been out here, whether you're an 0-2 or 1-2 or 2-2 or top 20 forests, we love having you here. And to our viewers as well, come on, subscribe. You know you Please. want to. Like, I subscribe. At least follow. Yeah, come follow, on. share. It's a little too late to share now. Stream's going to be over, but you can remember to share next time. Speaking of next right. time, you can always come down to Xeno Weekly every single Wednesday. It's $15 entry, hosted by the wonderful House of 3000 on Twitch. It is in the heart of downtown Manhattan, well, Chinatown. So, you know, right before Bracket, you can get some delicious food. Once you're out of Bracket, you can get more food, maybe a cup of coffee from Waypoints. And Waypoint Warriors, obviously, every single Tuesday. That's a $12 entry fee, just up the street from Xeno Zero. So be sure to check them out the day before Xeno Weekly. And if you're like, well, what about Monday? I know we're kind of going back into the week here. Well, we do have... We do have Bombs, the grind-focused weekly. This is where you are going to come and get your grind on, get your friendlies in, try and improve as much as you can. Because as we say all the time, New York is probably one of the most stacked regions in the world in Smash. I mean, even just the O-Tours, the One-Tours, the Two-Tours, they're some of the scariest that you were going to find. And you were going to find them here at Bombs, where your matches will be on the quad stream, which will be recorded and uploaded individually to the House of 3000 YouTube channel. Shout out to Munoz with the rating party of nine, right into our ad for Xenosaga. Let's go. Welcome, nine new viewers. You're coming to Xenosaga 49 this Saturday, September 3rd. That is two Saturdays away now. So please make sure you are uh, signing up as soon as possible. Love your TOs. Always support your locals. And if you want to support a new local, we got Last Man Standing. I believe this is number uh, three. Yeah. It is a Swiss bracket. It is this Saturday. If you're interested in Street Fighter 6 and you're like, hey, I want to play more. Trust me, you're going to play more than you ever wanted to here. So this bracket means everybody, everybody gets to play everybody. Then we get a top cut into, I believe, double elimination. Yep. Correct. Top four bracket, all uh, winner side into double elimination. Yes. So if you're <laughs> like, if you want to get your grind on and play some new people, some intermediates, some veterans, this is the place to do you, it. You will get the chance to go 0 and 7 in a Swiss bracket. Yo, that's what I dream of every that's... single time. And, but you All know right. what? What I dream of is saying goodbye to you, everybody. I'm going to let you go. You're free. You're free from Xeno Weekly 309. I've been Swiss Rider. You can follow me at, at Arnie Hermes and hosted by, well, co hosted yeah. well, by. Yeah, I was going to say, Force Armor. You can also follow me at Force Armor on Twitter. And guys, thank you so much for hanging out tonight. It's been an absolute blast coming back to the Xeno Zero venue. Guys, make sure you are supporting House of 3000. Put a roof over this Kirby's head right here so he can get a good night's sleep. And guys, I hope you have a great night's sleep tonight. It we'll is very late. You.
We'll see you next week. <laughs> see ya. we